what is used to maintain order at runtime? That's a good question. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So if you have a file communication channel, let's see if we've got one here. So this should be okay. I'll just switch to the, the screen. Um, then, oh, testing is not what I want to do. POTPPM, this was the one I wanted. So this is a SOAP communication channel uh, that we have created for this. And in this we got exactly once, which is just delivering the message at uh, one time. Then if you want to specify it, you would specify uh, exactly once in order. And in order would make sure that yeah, the message is delivered in the same order. And then you need to specify a queue that is relevant for this uh, message. Uh, um, so you know, so you you don't want to create just one queue that that covers all of these things, but you want to create one for each of the different scenarios that you are using. Um, so we will save this and activate it. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this is a built-in, so this is okay. And if we run this and run our SOAP communication on it, uh, and all adapters is supporting this, or most of the adapters is supporting, I guess I would need to say. Um, then when we're looking in our message monitor, Uh, but, but, but we got it here and if we're looking at the details of it we can see it is uh, quality of service it's exactly once in order and we can see it is using this uh, sequence ID so each time a message is processed it will use this uh, this information um, and that means if you want to search for these messages. So the downside about using exactly once in order is if you're using it and one message fails, let's just try to do that. Uh, so we'll stop this communication channel. Uh, receiver XMP PPM. So we got a communication channel here. So we got this one and we'll just stop it. And then we will send a message in, two messages. And now we would expect when we're looking at our message monitoring there would be one message that's failed and the other one is, is holding. So this one would, would have uh, the, the type of error and we cannot stand recent this one. Uh, uh, message will be recent, but if we start looking at the logs and get details about what's going on here, it's a uh, message set admin actions uh, to be delivered uh, and then it's just set back to hold um, so if we want to okay we know this message was failing we can then uh, reset the sequence and it will then start delivering the, the next message um, but this message would then also fail because of yeah the adapter right now is, is still not working so you want to be careful about what are the scenarios that you're using this on because it is something that yeah is, is a bit tricky and you need to make sure it, it really works uh, correctly 
otherwise you would end up with a big queue and if you have a big queue of, of failed messages you need to go back and see what are all of these messages um, so let's just send two more so uh, if we then look at So you want to find these messages, uh, you would just say technical attribute uh, sequence ID and here you would be able to see what are the messages that is, is, is processed and, this and what are the ones that, that are holding. Um, and that this is just because they're using this uh, um, yeah, this, uh, this sequence that we defined here. Um, in this this adapter so uh, I hope that that answers what you were looking for um, and file adapters have the same uh, you put in a queue name you can change this queue name in in a mess uh, operation map uh, maybe in a message map you can do it but in adapter modules you can also change the queue or change this t type to exactly once in order